So we discussed the solar spectrum lines composed of many different elements. Of course, what you can do on Earth is you can take one element, heat it up or put it in a gas discharge tube, and you'll see spectral lines of just that one element. And so here are, are some representative ones. Um, and these are like fingerprints, right, for, for the element. And you know, the main thing that's very interesting, you take a neon sign, like this is a neon sign. That's, that's an uh, example. That's a gas discharge tube, a common neon, neon sign in, you know, downtown Las Vegas, right? There's no neon signs in, you know, not, not as many, okay? And, um, you know, it, why does it look that neon color? It's because it's a combination of all these different light, visible light uh, that are given off. But it's, it, the neon sign isn't white in color, right? Because it's not giving off all light, all colors of light. Why? Well, because it has to do with energy being quantized, right? Only certain energy states are alive, allowed. And um, what you're looking at is light that's given off as electrons decay from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. And that gives off photons, which is light, right? And so, you know, that's really uh, a key principle. And where we have to go next is we have to do a, a li little bit of a foray into quantum chemistry, right, and quantum mechanics. And you'll get a lot of this in your PCHEM course, um, uh, of course, your, your physical chemistry course. But the way I like to, to explain quantum mechanics, big picture is life and the universe are like a set of stairs. They are not like a ramp, okay? What dictates the height of these steps, okay? These are the different quantum levels that you can be at. You can't be in the middle of a step. At a ramp, you can be anywhere, right? We can only be at one step uh, at a time. That's your energy state that you can be at. The height of these stairs, that is dictated by Planck's constant, okay? Now, we know the value of Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, okay? That's a very low number, 10, 10 to the minus 34. And joule isn't really that big to begin with. So times 10 to the minus 34. What does that mean? That means that the stairs, are very, 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 very small, okay? A lot of times in life, i.e. like you're rolling a ball down <laughs> a ramp, uh, really you're, you're, you're rolling the ball down the stairs, but the stairs are so small, you can't notice it, right? Um, that is the nature of the universe. But in some situations, like in spectral lines, you see it, okay? And, and it, it has a, a, a real world manifestation, ma manifestation that you know, our eyes and senses can pick up on. Other times, our eyes and senses cannot pick up on them, and we need to use special instruments in order to pick up these quantum effects, right? Special microscopes, et cetera. Fascinating uh, 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 ways that we can do that. But as far as we know, quantum mechanics is the best approximation for how the universe works. Remember, quantum mechanics is a theory. A theory is an approximation. It's a model of how the universe works. In the future, you know, we might have a better theory. But quantum mechanics, as far as we know, is doing a really, really, really good job at explaining how the universe and chemistry works. And so um, we're gonna use that you know, throughout the remainder of the course, um, using the principles of quantum mechanics are gonna be really important to explaining various concepts in inorganic chemistry.